Today's lesson will be covering three pages, pages 133 to 135. You want to have your calculator and some colored pencils and also possibly a highlighter. Lesson 7, Newton's Law of Cooling and Exponential Formula Review. Sir Isaac Newton created a formula to calculate the temperature of an object as it loses heat. The heat moves from the object to its surroundings. The rate of the temperature change is proportional to the temperature difference between the object and its surroundings. The formula can be used to find the temperature at any time. So here we have this formula, T of T equals T sub A plus parentheses T sub zero minus T sub A close parentheses times E to the negative KT. Now the good thing is you do not have to memorize this formula. It would be given to you just as it is written here, along with the notes where T of T is equal to the temperature of the object after T time units has left. T sub A is the ambient temperature, which is also the temperature of the surroundings. And it's assumed to be constant. T sub zero is the initial temperature of the object. And K is the decay constant per time unit. So read over the first exercise, take a moment, maybe underline some important things. Okay, now let's write down the formula. T of T is equal to T sub A plus parentheses T sub zero minus T sub A times E to the negative KT. And now let's make our substitutions into the formula. So T of T is the temperature of the object after time has passed. So that is our 72 degrees. 72 equals T sub A was the mean temperature, 68 degrees. T sub zero is our 98.6. K is 0.1335, so negative 0.1335 T. And we are solving this for T. Well, T is part of an exponent, and the base is E. So circle that. That's, we need to get this by itself. So the first thing we will do is get rid of the 68, subtract 68 from both sides. This is 4 equals, now in parentheses, 98.6 minus 68 is 30.6. So we have 30.6 times e to the negative 0.1335. And still we want to, we want this base and exponent by itself. We have 30.6 times that. Undo the multiplication by dividing. We have 4 divided by 30.6 is equal to e to the negative 0.1335. Okay, so we have our base, and I left off my t. Let me put it back there and here. So now we have our base and exponent. Um, now we want to get t by itself. Well, we are in exponential form. The base is e, the exponent is negative 0.1335t, and the 4 divided by 30.6 is our answer. So now we want to switch to log form. 
Remember, long form is spells out long base. Log base C of our answer of our 4 divided by 30.6 is equal to the exponent negative 0.13352. And one more step to get t by itself, we divide. This is negative 0.1335 times t, so we divide. So this is what is going into the calculator. t equals, now log base e remembers the same as ln, so ln of 4 divided by 30.6 all divided by negative 0 0.1335. So t is approximately 15.2 412, which is approximately 15 hours. The next exercise is similar. Take a moment, read that over. Okay, the temperature after time has passed is our 80 degrees. The temperature of the surroundings was the room temperature was 68 degrees. The initial temperature, T sub zero, would be our 98.6. And our K is the same as exercise 1, 0.1335. Again, if you can, um, or attempt to pause the video and see if you can solve this on your own. We want to get our base and exponent by itself. So the first thing, let's get rid of that. Uh, 68. Track that from each side. as we did in exercise one, switch the log form.
is approximately 7.0119, which is approximately seven hours. And this is seven hours prior to 10.23 p.m. Report is at 3.23 p.m. Our next exercise, um, we'll be looking at a graph. We have two cups of coffee are poured from the same pot. The initial temperature of the coffee is 180 degrees. And the K value is 0.2337. Cup one is left sitting in a room that is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Cup two taken outside where it is 42 degrees. All right, so the 75 is the temperature of the surrounding for cup one. Is this blue? What is this? T sub A. And I'll use a different color for cup two. This is T sub A for cup two. Using Newton's law of cooling. So let me write this down. T of T equals T sub A plus T sub zero minus T sub A times E to the negative KT. degrees is our T sub zero. Okay. So we want two equations. So first cup one in blue, T of T is equal to, oh, stop changing, 75 plus 180 minus 75 e to the negative point two three three seven t cup two the ambient temperature is forty two degrees plus one eighty minus forty two e to the negative point two three three seven t so here we have our two equations. Now we want to graph and label both of the same on the same coordinate plane and compare the end behavior of the two graphs. Calculator. Y equals. Remember e to a power um, second ln. Show that for you e to the power second ln again please make sure you are actually typing this into your own calculator not just watching the video where I'm typing into my calculator you have to be practicing Okay, I think everything is keyed in correctly, looks good. Um, let's change our window to match this. Okay, our time is going from 0 to 25, that's our input, our x's. And our output, our temperature from 0 to 200. And it looks like our temperature is going by a scale of 20s.
So we know the initial temperature is 180 for each. And I'll look at the table of values, see if I have some nice um, whole numbers here or close to. All right, not too much. Okay, so I'm going to go 6. Blue is close to 100. Right here. And my purple is close to 76. About 10, 85 and 55, so 55 first. Let's go 15, 20. And let's just go 20. Um, 75 blue. And 43. 20. I just did that incorrectly. I did. This was supposed to be for 20. 43 and 75. Pretty close to it. And 25, where are we at? 75 and 42. So now connecting these. Okay, so graph and label both um, and compare the end behavior of the two graphs. All right, as time goes to infinity with our cup one, uh, what's happening to our temperature? Our temperature is leveling off at 75 degrees. And for cup two, as time goes to infinity, our temperature is leveling off at 42 degrees. 75 was the temperature of the room that the coffee was cooling in. And uh, for cup one, and the 42 was the outside temperature. Coffee is safe to drink when its temperature is below 140 degrees. How much time elapses before each cup is safe to drink? It's the nearest tenth of a minute. Okay, so below 40 degrees. So we'll take our calculator, or sorry, 140 degrees. And we'll just put in our temperature of 140. Go to Y equals in Y3, put 140. And now calculate the intersection. Second trace, number five. The first curve is the blue curve. That's fine. 
The second curve is a red, I don't want that. So um, if you just press up or the right arrow, so now I'm on the line, that's what I want for our second curve, press enter. The guess, you can just press enter. And this point here is 2.052140. out the whole decimal. So it's the nearest tenth of a minute. I'm going to switch to the colors here. Cup one. Um, has to be below, so give it an extra round up to 2.1 minutes. And second trace, number five again. The first curve, it's on the blue, I don't want that. Still on the blue. And I'm not, I can't see, there we go. Now let's jump to the red. So it's on the red, now enter. Second curve, um, it's telling me it's on the 140, that is what I want, press enter and the guess press enter again. So one, four, six, four, six. This point. Now round up 1.5. Okay. Um, one more page to go. I think maybe we'll just do the exercise number four. This, this is taking up a little bit of time here. So here we go. Um, we want to practice writing, uh, converting some of the different forms of our exponential formulas. So exercise number four, we have uh, tritium has a half-life of 12.32 years. Write the half-life formula, A of T for the amount of tritium left after 500 milligrams sample after t years. So half-life formula, first off, recall. A, capital A equals A sub zero times one half to the t divided by h. A of t equals, the 12.32 is our h and 500 is our a sub zero. So a of t equals 500 times one half raised to the t divided by h, which is 12.32. So that's our answer for a. b, write an equivalent function, b of t, in terms of a yearly rate of decay. Okay, so in other words, if we want a yearly rate, we want to write this here so that our exponent is simply t, not t divided by 12.32. So our b of t would equal, again, I'm just taking this piece of it and writing it, rewriting it so that we have just our exponent t. So b of t equals 500 times one half raised to the one over 12.32 raised to the t. Are these not equivalent? Because an exponent or a power to a power, you would multiply those exponents. We would multiply these exponents and end up with simply t over 12.32. Okay, but we want to write this with a new base, rounding all values to four decimal places. We go to the calculator, and what is one half raised to the one divided by 4 decimal places, 0.9453. So here 
here's our equation. Now part C. Write an equivalent function C of t in terms of a monthly rate of decay. So this is our yearly base. So we want to take this yearly base and change it to a monthly. So we'll take our yearly, and that's getting smaller, monthly, and we'll raise it to the 112. But in order for the exponent still to be correct, or the equivalent the equations to be equivalent, I've got to put that 12 back, okay, right? So here we have 0.9453 raised to the t, and now 0.9453 raised to the 1 12th raised to the 12t. Again, a power to a power, when we multiply these, we will end up with 12t over 12, which is simply t, in which case this is equivalent to this, but just rewritten in a different way. So to the calculator, 0.9453 raised to the 1 divided by 12. So this is our new decimal. This is our monthly base, 0.9953 to the 12t. Now, if we wanted to check this, um, let me clear these all out. If we put in the three equations, I forgot the 500. If we look at the table of values, right, the numbers are go would be close. They're not going to be exact, but they're going to be close. So an input of zero, yes, they're all at 500. Um, time 10, all right? See how close our values are? Because all of these equations are equivalent, except for the minor rounding that was done. Thank you very much for your attention today. I'm sorry that the video was so long.